Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about Simpsons 1 by 3 rule. In the previous video, I have discussed about how to integrate using the trapezoidal rule. And here, I am going to discuss about the Simpsons 1 by 3 rule. And we have one more method, one more rule, and that is Simpsons 3 by 8 rule to integrate a given function f(x). So, uh, without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, let us begin the solution of this video. First of all, we will discuss about its formula and uh, various terms which are uh, provided in this formula and then we will uh, have solve an example based upon this method and uh, I hope this video is going to be helpful to all of you guys. And here we have the as for according to Simpsons 1 by 3 rule, it says that integration of fx dx, fx is a function in terms of x. Uh, when we are integrating that fx with respect to uh, the lower limit a and upper limit b then it is going to be equal to h by 3 whole multiplied by y0 plus yn plus 4 times sum of odd number plus 2 times sum of even number and uh, here h is we can give the value of h as h equals to b minus a upon n and n is the number of interval and h is the height of the interval means at what distance the uh, h is situated sorry at h is the distance at which our second interval is situated suppose we have a line here and here we are at lower portion and so let us divide this into n intervals and here uh, this is 1n this is 2n this is 3n this is 4n this is 5n this is 6n and this distance from first 0 n node to n1 is h similarly from here to here it is h h is just the distance and n is the number of interval i hope you understood these things now let us see an example and let us solve this uh, that example based by simpsons 1 by 3 rule So guys, here is the question. Now compare this equation, this this term, this much portion with this. Then from here we will get a equals to zero, a equals to zero. Similarly, b will be equals to one. And from here we can calculate the value of h, which is equals to b minus a upon n. Let us take n equals to six. N is number of interval. You can take any uh, as per your choice it is at the number of n is as per your choice if you have less time then take up to 4 if you had sufficient time then take at least up to 6 or 8 it is up to you so now uh, b value is 1 minus 0 upon i am taking n equals to 6 here so we will have here value of h equals to 1 by 6 now we need to draw a table and using and from that table we will put different value of x and then with we will calculate the corresponding value of y and then we will put those value in this equation and find the final answer so let me draw a table first now guys what we need to do is we have to put the value of uh, corresponding uh, x x and then we will put the value of y and the corresponding value of y will be calculated by putting that value of x in this equation so we will begin with x node this is our x node and guys what happens uh, we have x1 equals to x0 plus h similarly x2 equals to x1 plus h x3 equals to x2 plus h so here we have x0 now we have x0 equals to 0 because we are starting from here x0 equals to 0 so here it will be 0 now x0 plus h means 0 plus 
1 by 6 so here we will get x1 equals to 1 upon 6 similarly on adding uh, similarly if we are calculating this is x note this is x1 let us write note it then it will be more easier to understand x3 x4 x5 and one more here is x6 and we will calculate the value of each and every using the same formula here now we have x2 so x2 equals to x1 plus h means 1 by 6 plus h is again 1 by 6 so 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 will be equals to 2 by 6 so we can write it here 2 by 6 similarly x3 will be equals to 3 by 6 x4 will be equals to 4 by 6 x5 will be equals to 5 by 6 and here x6 will be equals to 6 by 6 which will be equals to 1 and guys now what we need to do is we have to put the value of uh, this value of x in this equation means we have as here we have see here we have y equals to or y means fx y means fx so we have y equals to 2 upon 1 plus x cube now in place of x cube if we put x note value then we will get the value of y note so here we will have y note y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 because y is equal to fx is equal to 2 upon 1 plus x cube so now put uh, here x uh, x note equals to 0 x note equals to 0 then we will get y note equals to 2 similarly put here y1 equals to in this equation we what we need to do is we have to put uh, here x1 equals in place of x we will put 1 by 6 and putting 1 by 6 we will get value of y1 which will be equals to 1.99 similarly if we put uh, x equals to 2 upon 6 then we will get the value here 1.92 and guys now listen one thing more if you are facing difficulty in putting this fractional value in calculator in place of x then what you can do is simply convert this uh, fractions into decimal so on converting what we have here 1 by 6 so on converting 1 by 6 to decimal we will have 0 0.17 we will have 0 0.17 now if we convert 2 by 6 to decimal then it will be 0 0.33 similarly this will be 0 0.5 similarly this is going to be 4 by 6 equals to 0 0.67 0 0.67 similarly 5 by 6 is going to be 0 0.83 0 0.83 now uh, it will be easy to put this decimal value in place of x and sim uh, similarly on calculating the value of corresponding value of y we will get 3 uh, x 3 3 by 6 will be equals to 1.77 similarly it will be 1.54 it is going to be 1.26 and here it is going to be 1 now we have calculated the value of corresponding value of y now put this value in this equation so uh, on rewriting the equation what we have integration of 0 to 1 I hope it is clear visible to all of you guys and 2 upon 1 plus x cube dx will be equals to h our h is 1 by 6 so 1 upon 6 and it is divided by 3 see what happens we have h upon 3 and the value of value of h is 1 by 6 by 3 so on reciprocal here below 3 nothing means 1 so on reciprocating it what we have 1 by 6 upon 1 by 3 so we can write it as 1 by 6 multiply by 3 and now start the bracket and y note value of y note is 2 plus y n we have an total n is equal to 6 and y6 is equal to 1 y n y n y n means y6 y6 is 1 so 2 plus 1 and plus 4 times y1 plus y3 plus y5 sum of odd number and here it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so we need to take these three values so 1.99 plus 1.77 plus 1.26 plus 
टू टाइम्स सम ऑफ इवेंट नंबर इवेंट नंबर मीन्स वन पॉइंट नाइन टू प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर नाउ क्लोज द ब्रैकेट एंड ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस वी विल गेट द फाइनल आंसर एज वन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन आंसर दिस आंसर में भैरी बाई सम डेसीमल्स नॉट दिस वैल्यू में भैरी बाय सम आंसर बाय सम नंबर इट वॉन्ट क्रिएट एनी डिफिकल्ट इज बिकॉज इफ वी आर टेकिंग अप टू टू डेसीमल प्लेसेज देन इट यू विल गिव वन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन इफ यू हैव एनी अदर फ्रेंड हु विल टेक द वैल्यू अप टू द थ्री डेसीमल प्लेस देन द वैल्यू विल मे वैरी बाय सम पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट सम जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सम थिंग मीन्स वन फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड वैल्यू विल बी द सेम एंड दिस थर्ड वैल्यू मे वैरी आफ्टर द डेसीमल सेकेंड प्लेस वैल्यू मे वैरी इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन हाउ हाउ मच नंबर्स आर यू कंसिडरिंग आफ्टर द डेसीमल सो इट वॉन्ट क्रिएट एनी डिफिकल्टीज एंड सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन स्टे सेफ एंड टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ इफ यू एंजॉय दिस वीडियो देन डू लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो